Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. I wanted to do a video of changing my reborn dolls for Valentine's Day. Most of them have Valentine's outfits, and a few of them just have some like red or heart themed Valentine's outfits. So I just thought it would be cute to do a little video dressing them all. I haven't really done a collection update in a long time, and this isn't technically a collection update, but it is kind of a nice look inside my collection. Um, so yeah, I've been making changes to my collection, and there definitely are still changes coming. There are some dolls that um, are still here, but I don't consider them part of my collection because I'm selling them, so they will not be featured in this video. I'm just going to be featuring the dolls that I currently consider part of my collection, but I'm not doing a collection update because I still am making changes to my collection, and I just don't really know where all of it is going, so... I just thought it'd be fun to do a little Valentine's video and dress the dolls so you can see who I've got currently and um, yeah so if you don't see a doll in this video they're not part of my collection um, yeah that's all I'm gonna say on that I don't want to talk about that it's my collection and that's all that matters anyway let's change the dolls we're gonna start with Elodie she's kind of already in a Valentine's outfit which is super cute but I bought her this other one especially for Valentine's Day, so we are going to change her into this. This is from Janie and Jack, and I'm really excited to put this on her. It's like a sweater outfit, so that's what we're going to change her into. And since this is kind of a collection update, I will tell you who all of my dolls are, who made them, where I got them from, all that kind of good stuff. So, Elodie is the full body silicone. Um, her kit is... Jolie by Sylvia Manning, and I had her painted by Leticia Moreno, and she was rooted by Ellie Habibi. So this was a, like, collaboration between three artists, technically. Um, all so amazing. They all did amazing work on this baby, and she is... I don't like to pick favorites, but she's one of my favorites in my collection, really. I love this baby so much. Um, so I bought the kit directly from Sylvia Manning uh, on her website. So I bought the silicone blank, and then I sent her to Leticia to be painted. And then I had Leticia send her directly to Ellie to be rooted, and Ellie sent her to me. So that was super cool, and I just love the collaboration between all of those artists to make this baby come to life. I think she's adorable. I love this baby so much. Yeah. I'm so excited. She's gonna look really cute in this. I love silicones. If you guys haven't noticed, I've mostly been trying to shift my collection to feature silicone dolls and pretty much only like toddler sized vinyl babies. I'm really not into small dolls anymore and a lot of my smaller reborns I have sold and even some silicones they just if they're not big enough I like big dolls so much better so I've been trying to shift my collection focus to only silicone dolls and only vinyl like toddlers so that's mainly what I intend to collect I really just have realized I don't do anything with small dolls and it just every time I would get one it would just be a waste because they would just be sitting in my nursery and I just wouldn't touch them so unless it's silicone so I've been shifting my collection it's definitely more expensive um, <laughs> to be collecting large dolls and only silicones slash large silicones um, those are definitely the most expensive kinds of dolls in this hobby but they are what makes me happiest so I think it's worth it and I have not regretted buying this baby I love her so much. Alright, her outfit is like being a little weird the way it's resting on her. I'm gonna flip her over. She is the cutest thing. I spoil this baby. Spoil her. Her hair needs to be brushed. Where did I put my brush? Here it is. We're also working on cleaning my doll room right now and kind of renovating it, so I'll probably have a video up within the next like couple months of like a nursery update because 
My nursery has just been crazy lately and I'm excited to be working on that and making it look better. This video is definitely going to be a little longer, but I think it's nice to just have a little chat and just talk about everything because I haven't been posting so much lately because I've been focusing on cleaning and making dolls. I just haven't been motivated to like take pictures and videos of my own collection because my doll room has been so crazy. And now that we're finally starting to get it under control, I'm feeling more inclined to do videos and pictures of my dolls because they're gorgeous and I want to show them off. I love my babies and I want to share them. So we're going to keep the same clips in. I love this style on her. Just two little hair clips. So cute. It's my favorite style for her. I have all these other colors, but no red, so we'll stick with white. And here is little Elodie. I might give her a pacifier. I don't know yet. But here she is. She's so cute. Mm -hmm. Love her. So I just gave her this really cute red pacifier that I have. It's like, it's a light red, kind of pinky almost, but it's really cute. It is a Dr. Brown's butterfly shape and I think it looks really cute with the red hearts on her outfit so that is gonna be her final outfit. Next we have Naomi and truly my big silicone girlies like Elodie and Naomi I feel like are two of like the main dolls in my collection. I use them the most. I love them so much. I spoil them the most for sure. They both wear the same size. They're both three month silicone girls. I adore them so much like this is my favorite size. I just love these babies so so much. They have so much they can wear for Valentine's Day just because they have a lot of pink outfits, like, as you can see, but I bought them both special outfits for Valentine's Day this year for no reason other than I love them and love to spoil them. So, the outfit I bought for Naomi, sorry, Peanut is trying to come in, is this from Janie and Jack also. This is actually three to six months, so it's going to be a little big, but Naomi is bigger than Elodie, so I think it'll work, but she might look a little small on it, which I think will be cute because she's huge. So this is really cute. It's white with little hearts all over it and it's like a kimono style top. I love this. So we're gonna put her in this. She's wearing little pajamas right now. Peanut really is trying to come in right now. <laughs> Peanut, are you gonna come say hi? So. Oh, so about Naomi. I've had this baby for a long time and she is probably the most special doll in my collection. She is the prototype Eloise sculpt by Meja Said. Um, she's a full body silicone and she was made by Christy Carwithin of Dainty Loft Nursery, I think. And so um, I love Christy's work. She is so nice. Um, I'd like to think we'd become friends from me buying this doll. And I just, here's Peanut. <laughs> I love Christy. She's so sweet. I feel like this hasn't gotten on the back yet, yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I love Christy. I love her work. This baby was rooted by somebody not Christy. I can't remember exactly at the moment who rooted her, um, but it was somebody else. This was also a baby made like from a few different artists. But look at how chunky she is. I love this baby so much. She's so big. And one of the really cool parts about her is when they were making this mold of the Eloise sculpt, they were making this one and she broke the mold, so she is the only full body silicone Eloise that was ever made. They have been able to restore part of the mold and can make a partial body silicone of this sculpt which just has the legs, arms, and head, but mine is the only one that's full body. And so I think that makes her insanely special and so many people wanted this baby and still to this day like want this baby. People message me all the time asking like where they can get her, am I gonna sell her? No. This baby is so special to me. She's truly like a doll that I can see myself keeping forever. I adore this doll with my whole heart. Here's Peanut. <laughs> Peanut just wants to be in on everything. But I adore this baby so much. I could literally never see myself getting rid of her. So I, I get a lot of messages about her asking if people can have her where they could find her. She is not for sale. She's the only one. <laughs> She's a special baby. And even just yesterday, I think, two days ago, her artist, Chris, she posted a photo of this baby with a new baby she just made recently who was sculpted by the same sculptor, Meja Said, and was saying that they look like siblings and how many people loved this baby. And it's true, people all in the comments were 
saying they love her so much and it makes me happy like knowing I love like I love my dolls obviously because I love them but part of collecting that's so fun to me is like when other people love your dolls it makes me love them like even more when I know that other people enjoy my dolls so it's like the same thing when I get my nails done I I love to get my nails done and I have Valentine's nails right now actually but like, I love my nails, but I love them even more when people compliment me on my nails. Like I'll, I'll just get, like getting coffee at the drive-thru, just going to the store and people compliment my nails. It makes me love them so much more because other people love them. And that's how I feel about my dolls too. Like I love my babies so much, especially when other people also enjoy my dolls. I don't know, I just love sharing them and it makes me happy when other people also love them. Struggling to tie this. I feel like the strings needed to be a smidge longer. I thought this was gonna be big on her. This is actually like a perfect fit that makes me a little sad that she's so humongous. It's like she's growing almost. Because, like I said, this is a three to six month size outfit, and I normally buy her zero to three month, but they didn't have this outfit in zero to three, and I really wanted it for her. So I bought it in three to six, and it fits so good, and she's just the cutest thing. So. Ever since I got Elodie and started putting little clips in her hair, I've been doing the same thing to Naomi, so now they kind of match in that way, but I feel like it's Elodie's signature style to have them in her hair. But Naomi kind of copies, she's a little copycat. I used to never put anything in her hair because headbands looked so weird on her. So we're gonna do these two really cute pink glitter clips and they match pretty close to the hearts on her kimono, or on her outfit. There we go, that looks so cute. Sometimes with Naomi I only do one, and I like that a little better on her, so Elodie's more of like the two clip kind of girl. But I'll do it. Sometimes I start with two and then she just gets one taken away. And I also, she doesn't have an open mouth. That's like the one thing I would change about her. I just wish her mouth was open, but other than that, I love her. I'm just gonna have her hold this cute little Valentine's pacifier. It just says XOXO in the middle, and it's like this darker pink that matches the dots on her outfit. She's got sparkles on her. So I think this looks really cute. She's just gonna hold it, because I could clip it on too, but I kind of just like her hanging out with it. She looks so cute. I love this baby so much. So here's my sweet little Naomi. Love her so much. I'm trying to get through my small dolls before I move on to bigger ones. So this is Holden. Um, he's not clothed right now. A few of my dolls aren't wearing clothes because they were wearing Christmas outfits and I wanted to put all that stuff away so I took the outfits off of those dolls and just never had a chance to give them other clothes so I apologize a lot of my dolls are not wearing outfits right now but Holden's one of them so he is also a really special baby to me I don't do a lot with Holden anymore but I cannot see myself selling him because I have so much like sentimental value in him I'm sorry Peanut is really <laughs> getting into things get out of here like Holden has so much sentimental value to him. He was the first um, prototype baby I ever owned. I bought him secondhand from eBay. He's the oldest doll in my collection. Um, I don't have the first doll I ever bought anymore. Um, I had held on to him for a long time, but did eventually sell him a few years back. So this is the oldest doll in my collection. I've had him since 2016, and I believe I've been part of the community since like 2014. So he is still pretty old. But he is the prototype Ethan Sculpt by Nicole Russell, and he was reborn by Nicole Russell, so he's really cute. And the outfit we are going to put him in is this little sleeper. So this is just like a dark red, like maroon color. It's a loved baby sleeper. I really have no Valentine's outfits for my boys, and I it's tragic because I have so many boys. I don't know why, I just gravitate towards having boy dolls. So, we are gonna put him in this. This is just simple and I think he'll look cute in it. Just a nice little reddish sleeper so he can be on theme. This is gonna look so cute on him. This actually might be too small on him. He's a big, big boy. Yeah, this might be a little too small on him. Oh, I think it is. I don't think you can wear this, buddy. All right, we'll save this for somebody else. He's so chunky, he can't even fit. 
I will save this for somebody else and I will put Holden in I'll put him in this one. This is really not Valentine's -y at all, but it just says I love my mom and that's like one of the closest things I have. This is the least Valentine's outfit out of all of the outfits I have picked out today, but I just thought it counts because it says love. And I literally have nothing better. Like my poor boys, I need to get them some Valentine's outfits. I swear I had some and I cannot find them anywhere. I've been looking through all of my holiday clothes, like all of my clothes for my dolls and I just cannot find my boy Valentine outfits and I swear I had some so that's sad but he's gonna wear this and this is a baby gap outfit and the pants are just navy with the little baby gap bear so again really not Valentine at all the only way that makes it Valentine's is that it says love so this one's a little bit of a stretch but it's the closest thing I have and Holden's gonna look really cute in this this is actually, I think I bought this outfit with the intention for him like a few years ago. He's had this outfit for a long time. I love this one on him. So <laughs> here's my little Holden in his not really Valentine's outfit. Next we'll move on to this baby. This baby actually does not have a name. Um, this is a doll that I made for myself last year. So he's been in my collection for a year and he's unnamed. Normally. When I make dolls for myself, I don't name them because I usually only end up keeping them for like a week. So I don't ever see the point in naming them, but I've had this baby for over a year and he still isn't named. He, it's just like the curse of dolls that I keep. They just never get a name. I mostly just call him Froggy because he has frog legs and so when I post him on my Instagram, I usually just put a frog emoji and that's just what he goes by. So he, he does not have a name. I just can't think of anything, like nothing suits him, so he just goes by Froggy. Um, but he's super cute. This is the Laura sculpt by Bonnie Brown, and I painted him myself, like I said. Um, my nursery page is Little Mouse Nursery. But yeah, so he's super cute. He's like probably one of the dolls I've kept the longest of like dolls I made for myself. I usually don't keep them very long. Um, yeah, I just don't always bond with my own work, but I do really like this doll. So, the outfit we're putting him in, this is actually technically a girl's onesie. And it says, I love you a whole lot, but I'm just gonna cover it up with this so you'll only see the red sleeves. He could wear this out too, but I just feel like covering it. Um, but yeah, this is cute. <laughs> I know, my girls have so many outfits. My poor boys have next to nothing. <laughs> I know this poor little guy, no name. I really don't think I'll ever come up with one. I think I'm just gonna end up always calling him Froggy because it's, it's been so long. That's the only thing that really sticks. <laughs> Even though it's not really a name. That's okay because he's a doll. We're gonna put this over it. This does look really cute. I know, I could have just done pants too, but I love these overall type outfits, especially on him. He looks so cute in these. I'm trying to put this on him without unbuttoning the front. Here we go. Oh, that looks cute. So he's like in the spirit. <laughs> That's really cute. Oh, little froggy. There he is. So there's Froggy in his outfit. All right, next up is Toby. He is another baby that was wearing a Christmas outfit and just never caught another outfit on him. So he's just in his diaper. But Toby is a full body silicone. He's the Jude sculpt by Joanna Kazmierzak and he was painted and rooted by Joanna. Um, so fully made by Joanna. And I believe he's the only Jude sculpt they made because she made him originally as a girl, June, and there's a few of those, like, I think it's a fairly large edition, but he's the only boy she made, I believe, and if I'm wrong, there's only one other one, but I'm pretty sure it's just him. So he's pretty cool in that sense, and we're gonna put him in this little loved baby sleeper. This will look cute on him. I'm pretty sure this will fit him. If not, then I have <laughs> one more choice, but I believe this should fit him. This will look really cute on Toby. Here 
Here we go. His hair needs to be brushed for sure. I hope this, this might be too small on him too. I feel like I'm just having a hard time. Holden's a lot bigger than Toby for sure, but I just think I'm having a hard time because he's all curled up and these sleepers are, they run a little small. as best I can. Just little fingers, there we go. Here we go, Toby. There we go. Yeah, this will fit him. Peanut is still snooping around in here. She's sneezing. What are you doing? She's crazy. She's about to be one years old on the 26th. Peanut is getting big. Mittens is turning 11 at the end of February. It's crazy. We've had her for so long. Here we go. Oops, sorry. <laughs> you didn't see that. <laughs> Here we go. All right, we got it on him. That was a struggle. Maybe I should have just put this on Johnny. Johnny's the last baby I have in the lineup for newborn boys, or like smaller boys. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, you look so cozy now. <laughs> He's like curled up in a little ball. You look really cute. Huh. There we go, so there's Toby. All right, here's Johnny. He is another baby who was in a Christmas outfit and did not get redressed. Um, so Johnny is actually also a baby I made for myself. He is, he was my very first prototype that I was ever asked to make. So this is prototype Johnny by Lenka Palasa Kujinova, made by me. And because he was my very first prototype I got to make, I wanted to keep him because that seemed super like sentimental and very special. I'm so grateful to this day for that opportunity. And so I kept him and it's nice to look back and see how much my work has improved also. Um, so I have him and I just kept his name Johnny. Um, never felt the need to change it again because I never know if I'm gonna keep it for that long the doll but I've had him for I think two years now I've had him for a long time actually might even be three it's been a while since I've had this baby so he's the oldest one that I've um, kept that I made myself I don't know why so uh, froggy was he is <laughs> so we're gonna put him in another outfit that's not really Valentine's it's a bit of a stretch but this one counts because it has a heart right here. It says, I heart mommy. That's the only reason I let Holden's outfit slide because this one also is a heart. <laughs> well, love. But this one's a little bit more Valentine's-y. So we're gonna put Johnny in this. This is a Jimboree outfit. I love Jimboree outfits. <laughs> here we go. Little Johnny. He's super cute. Not my best work, but he's, especially for that time, I was so, so proud of him, and he's super special to me. Here we go. <laughs> Little Johnny, putting him in this outfit. So, not super valentines -y, but he still looks cute. This onesie looks big. I think the onesie is bigger. No, it's newborn. It seems so big. Well, regardless, here he is in his somewhat Valentine's outfit. He still looks cute. So there's Johnny. Next up we have Mateo. He is half undressed. Um, not because he had a Christmas outfit on, because he didn't. He had a shirt and sweatshirt on and I stole them <laughs> so he's just been in just his jeans but that works because this is the pants I was gonna put him in anyway with this outfit I bought him this 
uh, shirt for Valentine's Day this year. This is from Janie and Jack. They came out with a Snoopy Valentine's Day collection and I absolutely love Snoopy, love the peanuts. Um, my nursery is pretty much Snoopy themed. It's not like really themed, but if it had a theme, it's Snoopy. So <laughs> I bought him this, I love it. It has two little wood stalks with a heart and it says Janie and Jack. So he's just gonna wear that with all of this. So <laughs> Mateo, he is the prototype Rhea sculpt by Ping Lao, and he was made by Sylvia Esquera. Um, he is such a cute baby. He's also one that I get a lot of messages about from people asking, like, if I'm gonna sell him, they want dibs and, like, all this stuff. I get a lot of messages about that. So he's another, like, very well-loved baby in my collection. He looks so cute. I feel bad he only is just getting a shirt on because that was so fast. <laughs> <laughs> his like chunky body. Actually, I need to brush his hair so we can do that. I try not to use any products in their hair if I don't have to. I use like water occasionally, but not always. Most of the time it just needs a little comb through and it's good. <laughs> so you can't even see him. Here is Mateo in his cute little wood stock. Valentine's shirt. He looks really cute in this and I love his little smile. He's just the cutest thing. Next up we'll do Ainsley. She was in a Christmas outfit that got stolen um, minus her shoes and hair clips. So we will take that out. Um, these shoes are really cute. Here's Peanut. Come to say hi. So Ainsley is the Betty sculpt by Natalie Blick. And this one was made by Belira Baby. Um, that's her like account on Instagram. I don't actually know her name. <laughs> she just goes by Belira Baby. Um, she has these little clips in. There we go. I'm struggling to get them out. Really cute, but it's not Christmas anymore. Her outfit is also not super Valentine's-y. It's just pink. So I'm putting her in this overall dress. So the shirt is pink with little flowers and this, the dress is corduroy gray with little mice in the pockets. And then she has these tights that go with it. This is a Carter's outfit and then I'm going to put these cute little Doc Martens with it. I think this is going to look adorable. And we will do her hair too. So. I think she's gonna look really cute in this. Poor girl <laughs> has been naked for a little bit. I hadn't had the chance to dress her recently. Like I said, with the nursery being so messy and just chaotic, I had no desire to be like doing stuff with my dolls because I just felt like gross, like with the state of the room. It just made me not want to play with the dolls because I can't take nice pictures of them if it looks gross. So that was a big issue I had, but now it's starting to come together. So like I said, I'll probably have a video of that in the coming months once I get everything sorted out. This is me. The shirt is a little big on her. She looks so cute though. And then overalls. I'm gonna try and do it without unbuttoning them, but I think that'll be hard. So we'll unbutton it. This outfit is really cute, actually. I love these overall dress sets. I think they're so cute. And even though this one doesn't have like hearts or anything on it, I had a few different outfits that had hearts on them, but they weren't pink. Or like the main color was blue with some pink. And I just thought this would be more Valentine's-y because the main color is like pink. And also, it's mice, and I love mice, so... Peanut! I'm sorry, she's getting into everything. Press the outfit, and then... I'm gonna put the little docks on her. These are so cute. I hope it'll work with these. Yeah, that'll work. They just don't zipper all the way, because her ankle is too chunky. But it works. Actually, yes it does, there we go. The little docks, I think this looks so cute. 
And I could untie them too, but that is a lot of work and I could put them on easily without <laughs> untying them, so I'm not doing extra. Here we go. Alright, and now I'm going to find her some hair clips because she looks really cute, but she needs hair clips. <laughs> She's creaky, I'm sorry. She has an armature that makes a lot of noise. Sorry guys, I thought I pressed record, but apparently I didn't. Um, just talking to myself over here about Rory. Uh, we're changing her out of these really cute Jimbery pajamas. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened there, but changing Rory. So this is also the Betty sculpt by Natalie Blick, and this one was made by Svetlana Gondarina. Um, so Rory is another baby in my collection that I get so many compliments on, so many people asking where I got her, where they can get her, if she's for sale, all that stuff, and she's just another baby that I cannot see myself selling. I love this baby so much. She's another one of the favorites in my collection, I think, and she reminds me a little bit of myself as a toddler. I have some pictures of me when I was younger. And I looked pretty similar to her, just with um, brown eyes. Because I used to have blonde hair as a, like, uh, up until I was like five. And then it started getting darker. So, I like resonate with this baby. She looks a lot like me as a toddler, I think. And so, she just reminds me of myself. And I really like that about her. So, and it, she's also just a gorgeous, adorable baby. I'm so sorry, Peanut is being crazy. We're putting Rory into this really cute outfit. I have these little white tights. They're kind of off-white. She wore this outfit last year too, but I really wanted her to wear it again because it was so cute. And then it's a Cat and Jack outfit, so this is the shirt. This is actually also like a creamy off-white. safety pin the back of her shirts. Um, I do this with all of her outfits. I do this on the other toddlers sometimes if they really need it. I just safety pin it to make them a little tighter at the neck. I should have done that with Ainsley. And then the really cute little overalls that go with this. Well, the tights didn't come with this, but the shirt. some more Valentine's outfits, or at least just like more reds and pinks, especially for my poor boys. This is so cute. I love this like style outfit on babies, like when they wear the overalls and leggings and long sleeve shirt all together. And then I'm gonna put these little white Converse on her. They have the red like trim. So cute. I feel like I'm a little non-conventional with like I always put my babies in sneakers when I feel like they should be wearing like flats like with dresses I'll put my dolls in sneakers because that's just my style I like how that looks and like I do that personally so I do that with my dolls <laughs> I don't know I feel like a lot of people would put like much cuter shoes with this like not that Converse aren't cute but like fancier little shoes and I always just put like sneakers on my dolls here we go. I wasn't gonna give Rory any hair accessory because I don't have any red ones, but I might give her a pink bow just so she can be a little Valentine's y. Two colors. Her hair looks a little crazy right now. Yeah, we might do that. So here is, I can't even see it, Miss Rory. So cute. All right, and I also have Elliot. He doesn't get featured in videos a lot because he is a mini baby, as you can see, compared to my hands. He's like nine inches, he's super tiny, and he is so cute, but he doesn't get featured a lot because he's just so small, it's hard to feature him. Um, but I do have him. He is the prototype Wee Mouse by Laura Lee Eagles, and he was made by Yvonne Nather, I think is how you say her name. I'm 
struggling to get this off. But his little outfits all have to be like custom made by people on Etsy usually is where I buy his outfits. Um, there's a ton of shops that I like to buy from, but he is so cute. Um, we're gonna put him in this tiny little onesie. It's just white. And then he has this uh, red little overall with white polka dots. So that's what he's gonna wear, his little Valentine's Day outfit. I thought I'd include him because he has something kind of Valentine'sy, and he never gets in the videos. I feel like a lot of people don't even know I have him. He's just super little, and I consider him like my little travel baby. If I want to bring a baby like discreetly or just don't want to deal with actually bringing a doll out with me, he's so small, and I can just slip him in a bag, and no one even knows I have him. So he's super cute to like bring around that way. And sometimes I'll just let him like come in the car with me and hang out because he's so small. So here's little Elliot. Yeah, he does not get featured much, but I love this little guy. And he looks like... I think of him as a newborn size baby scaled down because I know there can be real babies born this small, but they don't look like this. Like, he looks like a fully developed, like, newborn baby. But if a real baby were born this tiny, they uh, normally do not look like fully developed like this. They look a lot more like alien-like. So I like to think of him as like a newborn baby scaled down. I know I said I don't like small dolls, but he's like my one exception because he's like a teeny doll. And he always just chills in this. This is like a little seat from Walmart. It's from the My Life As section. And I just put this little blanket on it and it's kind of like his own little chair. He sits in this all day. <laughs> he looks so cute. So those are my current dolls in my collection, the current dolls that I uh, do stuff with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, a little bit of a collection update and just changing the babies for Valentine's Day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I'll probably have a nursery like update video within the next like couple months. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's been a while since I have just like chatted and talked about my collection and all kinds of things like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!